Hey, what's up guys? Shahid here, back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can create a MIUI theme using your Android smartphone. So without any further delay, let's get started. In order to do so, you need to download an application named MIUI Theme Creator. This app is available in the Play Store, head over to Play Store and install the app then launch the app if you have a MIUI theme designer account then click on ok i have account if you don't have then create your own account then click on the plus icon then enter the name of the project here enter title author designer and the version name click on done and if you want to add a custom font, head over to fonts and select your desired TTF file. Then click on done, go to app icons. You can use uh, icon masking or import icon from an, an icon pack. It's a great feature of the app that you can import a whole icon pack downloaded from play store. Select icon masking style and folder style. Now you can select your favorite icon pack. Let's customize the status bar. Select battery icon, signal icon and the Wi-Fi signal icon. You can also select an image for the background of the notification panel. Now let's customize quick toggles icons. Select your desired icon and select off and on color. You can also edit the colors of the contents on the notification panel. Now select your desired home screen and lock screen wallpaper. You can also customize the recent task background. Then you need to add the preview of the theme. It seems funny because you are adding preview of the film before creating the film. You can add it later. Then click on next and enter the file name. You can also choose the directory where the font would be saved. I am setting it in default. Then head over to the themes application. Now click on offline. Then click on import. And go to the directory where you have kept the theme. By default it's MIUI folder then theme folder. Click the MTG, click the MTG file then click on OK. Now let's apply the theme. As I have added a custom font, it's requesting a reboot permission. I won't be rebooting now. That's it guys, this is the theme which we have created now. In my next video, I will show you guys how to modify a theme. So stay subscribed. It's all about today's tutorial guys. Thanks for watching this video. Smash the like button if you find this video helpful. Don't forget to share this video with your friends so that they can make their own theme. If you find the subscribe button red, hit on it and make it ash. Don't forget to hit the bell icon also. Don't feel shy to comment below if you have any suggestions or query in the comment section. There are a few more suggested videos in the i button and also on the end up screen. Don't forget to check them out. Hope I will see you in my next video.